Uh, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Morocco. Ooh. So, guys, in another very characteristic part of EU4, we have been having uh, rebels cross the border from Portugal. Um, and sadly, our military is not strong enough to deal with it yet. Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely not strong enough to deal with it. So. What we're basically going to have to do is just kind of let the rebels run rampant and just flatly, I'm going to have to say it, we're just going to have to let them do whatever they have to do and hopefully they won't come back. So we really cannot deal with them. And I've been seriously thinking about switching my capital from, you know, this little place in Makotesh all the way over here to Tunis. Not only because it would give us a more popular node, like seriously, look at that. Look at that, we own 51% in this node, and look at this node, we own, like, nothing. Although, in this node, we have complete and utter power, but it's worth absolutely nothing. So, there is always that, but... We also could be... Well, we could also start transferring trade from there to there. Hmm, I might, I might start doing that. It is an idea. But anyways, yeah, I'm thinking about it, I'm seriously considering it. I haven't done it yet, because I want to... Eh. I don't quite want to jump the gun yet. That's basically what I'm kind of thinking is I don't quite want to jump the gun. Right now, we are doing pretty good right now in terms of, of management. We're, we're getting our last core um, of Gefasa. And, yeah, this is like a majorly successful campaign as Morocco. We haven't even really done anything, but I can already tell we are going to be a great power in this world. We just have to make sure we don't die. <laughs> That's the one thing we have to make sure we don't do, and that's die. And I was thinking about increasing my administration power, but I'm seriously, I've, I've put it off for so long. I really do need to get this one tech. Okay? Okay. Now that we've done our little meeting, guys, let's actually begin the game. Well, I'm just going to go on speed 5 for like ever because I don't have much to do right now. Let's go watch the game roll. Do, 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 do. I have three diplomatic relationships, so I can have one more diplomatic relationship with someone. The Ottomans always love me. Let's see, what am, what are my, uh... Oh, my, both of my diplomats are free, so... Well, seems like the Ottomans... No, the Ottomans love me. <laughs> uh, it seems like these guys are starting to hate me a little bit more. Let's increase relationships, because we are family. And you need to honestly look out for your family. Because if your family... Because in this life... You will have friends, and you will pick and choose your friends, but you cannot pick your family. Your family is going to always be there for you through the thick and thin, so make sure make sure everyone you love your family, because you never know when you might be in some ditch somewhere, and you passed out from, like, drunkenness, and you're, like, wondering, where the heck am I? And the only person you, you have a number to is your brother, who then you have to explain how you got in that situation, and you're like... It was a night. It was a night with some of my friends. They might have laced my drink, and you know, just wild, crazy things happened. So, you know, it honestly wasn't my fault, but I could see why. I could see why you would be mad. Uh, okay, so yeah, seems like the rebels are growing. Again, I'm just gonna give that. As long as I keep landing on that one specific province, I'm just gonna keep giving it independence. I, I, I don't even know why the Fezians are attacking me. I'm pretty nice to their culture. Like, almost completely nice. Let's get that. Let's get that. Okay, finally, culture ideas. Get this fleet slot. I'm gonna go for exploration ideas. Okay, instantly get exploration ideas. Get get this. Okay, get the one free colonist, and we're gonna start colonizing Rio de Janeiro. Okay, and we have to start colonizing pretty aggressively. Um, because I've already seen that Portugal, wow, Portugal is just being torn up by pretender rebels, um, is actually already starting to colonize over here in South America, just due to some, uh, it wasn't, it was just because I was loading up the map and it was like then, I was like, oh, sweet, cool, and yeah, <laughs> they're loading up the map now, which is not good for us. You know, because that means they can reach all the way over here to this land, which I kind of need. And please tell me you guys can be African nations. Thank goodness. <sighs> if you guys couldn't be African nations, we have honestly no hope for this campaign. And I would love to say otherwise, but that would be the truth. We we really should just quit and give up. And I'm going to start building my men now. And hopefully this... This, uh, currently you gain 154 per month. Ah, that's not fast enough. 
We need a lot more men if we want to stop standing up to European powers. I mean, right now I'm fine. Oh, great. <laughs> I should not have done that. Right, I'm right now I'm fine to being a weak power because, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the thing. We have changed the culture of Tripoli. We changed the culture. That's good. Now they are accepting Mohammed Arabic. That's good. We do not like. We definitely do not like other cultures. And do we want to gain piety or lose piety? What are we going for right now? Uh, do we should be gaining piety actually? Now that I'm thinking about it, because I'm still not. I don't think I'm quite ready to reform, and I have one free diplo. So let's see. Eh, why not? Let's improve relationships with Aragon. Cause you know what? <laughs> why not? Aragon might be a really fun friend to have in the future. Okay, and the Tangians have succeeded again. Okay, we give them exactly the same thing they did last time. Get them off my land. And hopefully Portugal will go conquer this back because this is annoying. Like, uh, honestly, that is the most annoying thing ever. I'm getting the raps for their inability to protect their own land. Like, seriously, protect your land, Portugal! Or if you do not protect your land, make sure you give it, give these, holy shoot, these guys are gonna get ripped up by rebels. You know, this would be the perfect time to attack them. Hmm. I like with England, but they have no army. Hmm. England, though. England's always a major power. No matter where they are, they always somehow have an army to fight. Um, right now, let's see, how's our economy doing? Right now, we're building a pretty stable economy. It's being a little bit drained by the fact we have lots of, you know, uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah, build one more. Okay, we're just gonna keep building a lot on the coast because we need to keep increasing manpower. But yeah, we, you know, what was I going on? I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about, but this, but, oh shoot, yeah, we could also get an actual ruler now. We're making good money so we can actually get some more rulers into our mix, which is nice because now we get a little bit more diplo power, a little bit more admin power. Uh, we just need to get some military power and then we'd be fine. Which isn't gonna be that bad. And apparently our prestige is now going up, which is good. Uh, and our, and our missionaries are colonizing, which is good. And, yeah, just casually at peace. Uh, by the way, are my, uh, ships doing stuff? Let's see. Navy. Navy. You are doing, uh, wait, are you guys actually doing something? No, you guys are just waiting there to be killed. Okay, go back right here to Tunnis and start patrolling Tunnis. Okay, yeah, you guys go do stuff. Because we need you guys to, p to protect our, like, most impo important node. I mean, I wish we could get this node right here, but that's just way too powerful. And we do have an important center of trade, but uh, there's just so much. Like, seriously, there's so much, like, power in this region. It's hard to get. It's hard to get anywhere. Alright. So let's see, we got another thousand troops, so that means as soon as I get enough money, I'm going to build the next uh, tr uh, troop so I can keep building up my army. Because, as you guys know, we are. We do not have the strongest of armies right now because apparently we have terrible commanders, or we have terrible strategy, or terrible tactics, whatever it is, we just do not have it. And it's honestly been affecting us in the last couple turns. So, yeah, I'm gonna build some more charge cavalry. And I'll actually keep him outside of the colony, because otherwise it will ignite another rebellion, which then will just not help us at all. I mean, it doesn't help us that we keep having to have rebellions, like seriously. So, I'm just going to keep him outside so they don't die. Book burning! Do we approve? Uh, does Morocco approve book burning? Yes! We totally approve. Okay, so we got relationships back up with the Mamelukes. They should be loving us. Yeah, they, they love us enough. I mean, we are allied to the rival, but they still love us. <laughs> and we have, like, the most powerful alliance of them all. Mamalu the Mamelukes and the Ottomans, both the most powerful Sunni, Christian, Islamic nations of them all. Uh, well, they weren't Christian, by the way. That was the wrong word. But they are the most powerful Sunni people. And I think next I'm going to start incorporating Algiers into my land. Because they need to become our buddies. Like, Algiers needs to honestly become our buddies. Because... I mean, look at that. Uh, has a cause Bele aggressive expansion. Okay, that 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 probably aggressive expansion is probably gonna kill me for like a couple years. But um, they need to start liking us. Like seriously, we need we need to start becoming BFFs in the uh, you know Mediterranean. Like 
BFF Boham with I, I don't know hashtag whatever. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what hashtag Morocco would be or what would what would be the equivalent of hashtag back in these days, but it was probably something to do with ships. If, if I was to guess anything, it'd probably have been something to do with ships. All right, Fez has a lot of people, so I'm gonna put another armory right there. And yeah, just keep building armories. Revolt risk is possible. Fezians want independence. Handle it. Change culture in Tangiers. Yeah. What? Did they change my culture? Uh. Curse you, Tangiers! Slaves! We are now importing slaves from Rio de Janeiro. Uh, and apparently we lost our alliance with the Mamelukes. I don't know when that happened, but. We should get that back as soon as possible. There we go. There we go. And now we're happily with all of our good buddy buddies. Until they try to go a war against each other and then we're gonna be like, no dude, we don't we don't bend that way. We don't go to either side. Okay, wait until my men repopulate before I start building more soldiers. Okay. Assimilation, yes! That's good. That means those natives have assimilated to our culture, which is nice. Ah, oh, okay. Now that we ha now that, that has happened, that makes me feel just slightly more at ease. Um, first off, I'm going to increase boost our stability to give us more of a strategic advantage. I'm waiting for us to get the quest for a new world so we can just go start exploring and massively, you know, seeking out all these new people over here and take all their juicy land. <laughs> okay, but anyways, uh, we're also like, I'm also like trying to well, be increasing relationship with these guys. Yes, we are. They're probably going to hate us for about a couple of years, but that's fine. They, they, they don't need to be liking us in the beginning. So, yeah. Okay. And we have... We're starting to build back our armies. Let's see. There's, I think there's two... Yeah, we could build... A, there's two men right here, so we could build about two more... Uh, lots of 50% new. <laughs> no, I'm not losing colony. We have failed the count... Cow... Phew. <laughs> Well, I didn't know they had expired, so to create an army for our nation. Enemy of enemy, our manpower needs to recover. Okay, I could do this. Okay, but I don't think I could probably do the, uh, get the manpower reserves up for at least a couple years. But this is probably going to be a little bit quicker. So, 75% of our force limit, that's going to be, uh, close to like 18. Close to like 18, that's pretty good. We can build about 24, 22 troops. Troops, if we really wanted to, that's, you know, that ain't half bad. Um, I'm going to get this guy, just so I can have someone for our land. And, yeah, now we have somebody for our land. And apparently, Fez is finally, oh, good golly. Okay, you guys were a pain in my butt, so I'm going to instantly, yeah, like, seriously, you guys cost me a lot. So I'm just going to instantly fabricate a claim onto you. I mean, I could vassalize them, guys. Don't, don't get me wrong. I could vassalize them. But that's like 10 years down the line. And for, for like a one province miner who I'm just going to take over anyways. Just let, let's just end their misery now. <laughs> Seriously, let's not make him a part of Let's not make him like Algiers. Poor, 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 pathetic Algiers. Oh, you guys finally want royal marriages. Yes. Good job. More people think of our legitimacy. And good thing, you guys are starting to really turn on us. I mean, really starting to like us. Okay, we can lose that. But these guys, Algiers, they're really starting to like us now, which is good. And was at war. Well, at least the was at war part is going away. That's really good, because I don't want to be at war. Native uprising! Oh, no. Good thing I have manpower. <laughs> okay, and I don't have money, though, so I can't actually build any men. Oh, gosh, this kind of stinks. Uh, but just give me a little bit, and I'll have enough. Oh no, more, more natives. Gosh, these natives will not give up. But don't worry, they'll, they'll be culturally assimilated. We have, it's going to be within a couple turns. Something important just happened and I wasn't paying attention. And the Fezians are now going to be declared war on. They're not even going to have a chance to do anything. Like, I'm, I'm not giving them a chance, are you kidding me? And if you guys die, I swear to the almighty Allah that I will destroy you myself. Okay. Like, I'm not even joking. You better not die. You guys go no leader for a little bit. You guys go leader. I just need you guys to win one a battle. Okay? Just one battle. There we go. Good thing. 
Okay. Now you guys just wait there for a second. I'm gonna have to wait until my taxes are a little bit up and no one should else should be joining in this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we just wait until until my allies of Algiers brings a gigantic juicy army and we just start standing on the siege together. And that's how we gain that, and that's how we gain the colony over there. Uh, it quite easily becomes a core. Uh, we now can build more more stuff, which means I'm gonna build more more cavalry, cause that's always good. Um, I can't actually go explore any of this yet because I have to core it. Uh, it's kind of stinks because I don't have a conquistador yet. Conquistador, and this kind of stinks now because I don't actually have anyone to westernize with. I just kind of thought of that. <laughs> Kind of stinks. Like, like we have no one to westernize with in Corsica. Hmm. The war of Provence. Where's Provence? Uh, Provence is. There it is. Provence is actually an independent nation from France. Wow. I don't know how you guys manage that, but that's pretty cool. Um, but Provence. It could be an opportunity for us to expand somewhere. Uh, Venice, too big. Uh, Rose, yeah, we could we could honestly start thinking of some of these guys as expansion places. I think I might go for these guys a little bit. Oh my goodness, there are so many cores on this thing. Never mind. Let let people have that, and well, hmm. We also could go for Granada. Actually, we could actually start integrating Granada, but I have a really I have a really apprehensive feeling of trying to integrate Granada because they kind of... It, we went to war with them like three times and they're probably going to be declared war on by like their bigger friends up there, so... You know... You know, I, I, I don't... It's not, it's not like I'm afraid of the uh, Castilians, the Portuguese, and all those guys, but it's just that I don't want to get in a conflict with them. And this was all that this is all that would do is just bring a conflict about and... We should all have peace and love, everyone. We should totally, totally all have peace and love. Okay, and I'm going to see what's the most... Uh, get it right there. And I think by 1503, we should have all these base... I think it was... No, it was this place. Oh, no! Ah, uh, yes, Regency Council has almost ended. Or local autonomy. It's almost ended. They're finally being, you know, integrated into my society. Uh, just getting a party. They're finally getting integrated into my society, which is nice. I mean, there's still some... It's tax efficiency, but that's only because... I don't think anyone's patrolling these nodes. Is that correct? Hmm. I don't know. I have to look up the tax efficiency, because that's pretty bad. Okay. Now that we're done with that, you guys... Ah, oh, damn. You guys come back. Do do do. Okay. And now what we want from you guys... Is actually not full annexation. We're just gonna accept you guys as our vassal. Okay? You guys don't have to do anything. You guys don't have to love anything. Just become our vassal, and that way it will drastically. Wait, let me just. Yeah. It'll drastically reduce our overextension, give us all your money. Go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I know I usually act a little bit weird. And I know I don't, oh, so, sorry guys, I know that was kind of like a weird decision, like guys were like, what, you were just talking about that you weren't going to vassalize them or anything like that. Well, I kind of have like, in a sense, I kind of have like conversations in my head, guys. Like just side conversations that I don't tell you guys about, and ultimately I thought that it was a better decision to, uh, you know, let let them become a vassal of mine and then integrate them in 10 years then for them to become my uh, land now and then have like millions of people hate me and you know just have to deal with all that so yeah I think ultimately I made the good decision so yeah and right now our manpower is growing by a good amount each year we just got a quad province can we go down here gosh dang it no Okay, so since we can't go down there yet, we really got to get this uh, quest for the new world. Like, seriously. In, like, the next couple of years, somebody get it. We need, to go, we need to go start getting that all down. Okay, we have more of this. Yes! Okay, next place to colonize. Go! Okay, we have, uh, wait until all my armies all together, and we'll go send them all down together to colonize the next place. Okay. 
get down here, get more of this. Let's see, we can build some level 2 ramparts, build that right there, instantly protect my land, get all of my men down here. And the natives are probably going to offer resistance, and the resistance was met with, you know, expected results. We slaughtered them with absolutely no hesitation. We can now get what I wanted before, which is admin tech. Yes! Temples too! Yes! Military tactics and now combat with, you know, tech level 7 is really important for the long term. And, oh gosh, this is so great. This is so, so awesome. Our economy is not doing the best, but once I start building temples everywhere, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be so great, but, um, I actually think, well, we could actually, let's see, we could actually build the Conquistador now. Wait, I have to wait for the quest for New World to set in. Oh, wait a minute, we don't have it anymore because of, oh, wait, yes, we do. Come on, come on, finish, 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 Finny, Finny, come on, Finny. Ah, come on. Oh, come on. That was cheap. Come on. Come on. Finish. Finish. Yes. Okay. Okay. Get the quest for a new world. Yes. Okay. Now let's get our new conquistador. Oh. Gosh dang it. Well, guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're going to have to wait till next episode to find out who will be our master conquistador that will lead us to a new and other golden age of uh, Morocco, we in expansion down into Africa, um, but for now guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, this is fun, fun, fun as always, and I will see you guys next time.